Hey everybody, welcome. This is Kasu. Today we are going to talk about the boss hybrids. Now, um, before I start the boss hybrids, the reason why I don't didn't summon any of them is so that it won't be so loud and nothing will be, and I can talk, you know. So I'm um, so how this hybrid goes. I'm going to summon all the boss hybrids one by one, and I'm going to kill them and show you what you get from killing them. Uh, however, I have no idea whether I can proc them to do any of the abilities, but I can sh show you their stats and whatnot. Uh, in fact, I might even summon some uh, creatures to s let you see the damage. So, uh, first things first, the main creature, uh, not main creature, the side creature is this one. Strange Anomaly Bait. So, the Strange Anomaly Bait, unlike the other uh, hard boss hybrids, it has to be crafted uh, in the botany branch rather than the boss platform the boss platform which is the main uh, place to create all the bosses but this one's special so how do you Jesus when I picked it up how do you craft it well first you have to have 1500 high fiber easy to get Generic artifacts. They that means like any random artifacts work. I can be any of these two. I accept the trophies. The trophies are for later. And lastly, you need odd kalum later fibers. So how do you get these odd kalum later fibers? So to craft to even get the odd fiber, you have to create the lemon this lymentria uh hybrid first, the giant moth hybrid, and uh you need to let it decay so you need a total of three and uh, if i'm not wrong this hybrid isn't very cheap either so uh best is to get all the resources you need and craft all three at once and let it decay all at once and just a one more minute and then see this is how you get the odd calum calumnator fibers so let's summon this hybrid Uh, again, this will take a bit of time, so I'm gonna skip to the part where it finally is made. Oh, and also my bad. You just need one of it, so not three. I read it wrong. You need three generic artifacts and you need one of this fiber. But I would suggest you make two instead because uh, the boss will drop something that uh, the your own moth can use. There. So, uh, as it reads, among the rubble of the estab uh, establishment laid secret files, the radiance of the files must have been made from someone hollow. Not even a knight would be able to withstand. It says that these fibers are made from spoiling something that requires sacrifice. Uh, basically, it's just referring that uh, you have to sacrifice one, uh, one of the moth lymentria hybrids in order to make this. So, how does this work? Uh, I'm just gonna press 2 to summon it. Yes, even they ask you whether you want to consume this item or not. Um, make sure that you consume this item not anywhere near your base. And that will spawn. As you can tell, it has a laser beam. So this is the... Oh, I can't even see your name, honestly. This is the anomaly. And as you can tell, it's quite a bad boss fight. Uh, let's take out the spyglass to see how much HP this guy has. So it has 500,000 HP and it's a flyer. But, oh my god the light. But the good thing about him, about this creature is that um. Okay, first of all, I'm not too sure what it can do. Uh, probably it can just throw those light balls that blinds you. Uh, melee attack and a laser beam. But, um... Other than not... Like, not sure what, what his full extent of his attack is. Uh, the good thing is, you can try to summon this creature in a cave. Also, it summons this insects. That each of them are 2000 HP. Not very easy to destroy. Uh, but I think if you want to kill this creature, just have a bunch of uh, Megatheriums, they will probably do the job. And uh, let's see what happens if you kill it. 
So when you kill it, uh, you have the announcement that it's uh, defeated. Uh, you get a bunch of DNAs. Yeah, you get a bunch of DNAs. And you get this costume. But what do you get? Okay, you can't even do it. Okay, uh, let's... I, well, well, it just decomposes really fast. Okay. So. Are the rewards worth it? Honestly? Not really. Because the rewards are pretty... Just a bunch of DNAs. And this costume. So what does the costume look like? Uh, let me summon a Lymentria. I. I, Big Maw. I'm gonna slap this on you. Where the hell is you? Yep, there you go. And now he looks like the boss. But does he have any difference in abilities? No. There is no difference in abilities. It just looks nicer. Or it looks pale. So yeah, uh, that was the Anomaly or the uh, Lymentria or the Mothra boss. I call it the Mothra boss. Um, honestly, the rewards aren't really worth it unless you really like the moth or how it looks. Otherwise, you just have a a pretty okay flyer hybrid that looks like that. Okay, up next um, is the boss. Up next are the bosses. So, let's go through the bosses one by one. Uh, we'll start from the left. First one is the Cyborg Hybrid Anomaly. Uh, it reads, Crafting this will unleash an extremely dangerous boss class hybrid. After a couple of rogue scientists talk to themselves, why aspire to create a new ultimate life form where you can improve already something that exists? Cyber Macro Circle Draco or Macro Cyber Draco was created. Intended as a protest against the ones that were going after quantity and finding themselves stuck in a limbo trying to create new genetic perfections, the Cyber Macro Circle became a beacon of telling everyone that the time of cybernetic is here. That didn't last long because after a processor malfunction, the macro cyber draco found itself in control again in a newly refined cybernetic body, destroying anything that it didn't see as robotic. So to craft this, you need 900 elements, 26 exotic DNA, probably the easiest one to get, and 5 generic artifacts. Uh, let's just drop those in. Also, uh, to nine to power the boss platform, you have to put in elements. So all these are very end game. Uh, let's put in the exotic DNA and let's summon this guy. And as per usual, uh, it takes some time to summon. And again, the good thing with all these hybrid is that you are able to find fine. You are able to choose the location. No, excuse me. You're able to choose the location of where this hybrid spawn. So if you are dumb enough, you will spawn him near your house. If you're not dumb, you will spawn him far, far away from your house. Uh, but do be careful. If you don't kill the boss hybrid, it will become a roaming boss. Uh, whether it heals or not is another thing. But at least the good thing is that there's no like limited try there's no limited uh retries you can infinitely retry it anyway is this thing gonna be like yep it's almost about to be done okay there we go this is the cyber macro circle draco uh it still has the similar abilities to the normal macro circle draco but it does have some differences like that it has 2.2 million health. That is phenomenally thick. Uh, let's, you know, just for the fun of it, let's summon a, uh, Mac, Mac, uh, let's summon its original self. Also, the music is like cyberpunk ass music. Let's summon, uh, his original cell and see how that works. As you can tell, uh, that's, this, this is not a fight. He deals quite a hefty amount of damage. He has whatever a macro circle can do and worse. Like the explosion and everything. But let's see... Yeah, it shoots those things too. I don't know what those are. 
it has a beam attack. But yeah, uh, I'm not here to show you what uh, he can or can't do. Uh, I'm here to show you how immensely powerful he is. But let's see what happens if you do kill. Hold on a second. Let's see what happens if you kill it. All right. It has uh, its own death animation. Uh, what the hell did I pick up? I have a costume for the Macro Circle Draco. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this costume is worth it. Again, costumes aren't really worth it if they don't really do anything else. But uh, this is a... Uh, Hold on, let me. Okay, so, okay never mind then. Okay, uh, so this is a short recap on what the abilities of the the um, this hybrid is. Uh, let me go find it. Okay, so left click is a standard uh bite attack. Right click is a tail swipe. C key. Is a roar. X key is titanium plates, and lastly, control key is uh impale and bleed target, like so. With that being the case, let's put on the outfit on him. Oh, what the heck! I what? What? The? What? Hello? Alright, it's my first time trying out this, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Apparently, he's invisible. I mean, it would be pretty epic if I can see it. Okay, so from my understanding. Yeah, from my understanding, uh, this creature has a bug. If you put the costume onto the Macro Circle Draco, uh, it fucking straight up turns it invisible. I don't know how good that would be in PvP, but what the fuck. Okay, let's ignore that. Um, yeah, I think that was the Macro Circle Draco hybrid. Uh, the thing is, on the website, uh, they did say that they did, on the website uh, stated below in the in the description, uh, they did mention that there are bosses and there are the controls to the bosses. For example, middle mouse button was apparently the metal tail bolts. But I put the I put on the outfit for this guy and nothing really I couldn't really do anything with it. I tried pressing everything and it couldn't really work. So I'm pretty sure that this is to tell you how it works. Oh sorry, not how it works. I think this is to tell you like how like what are the abilities, but other than that, there's not much you can do with it. Like you just again the bosses just give you a nice new little oh my god. A nice new little uh fun costume to wear. Ignoring that, let's go on to the next operation, Operation Obelisk. Basically, Operation Obelisk was a failed hybrid operation that was supposed to be used as the ultimate weapon of war, but due to several failures of containing it, the operation finally broke out, letting out a powerful ear-shattering scream. The frequencies of the roars match the ones that the dragon lets out. One observation confirmed that the roars intensified the closer it got to an obelisk. Some propose that Operation Obelisk siphoned that mysterious power of the obelisk, hence its name. Um, not too sure whether this is a thing, but let's let's summon it. I'm gonna summon it twice. First here and five, six, seven. All right. I'm gonna summon it here first, but I'm also gonna summon it uh later on at uh at near an obelisk. See what happens. So let's summon it. And it's about to be done. Uh I'll be summoning this operation obelisk near an obelisk to see what's the difference. 
And it's coming out. There we go. It's out. So let's take a look at how it looks like. Uh, the face is disgusting. It's a butt for a face. It spits venom. It breathes fire. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, has a gorilla for hands, wings of a dragon, tail of a scorpion. Don't know where that came from. Uh, he summons. Uh, oh, he summons Nightmare Fuel. All right, thanks. I I hit it. Um, uh, just for the funny, I'm gonna drop an Operation Hybrid. Uh, the tankiest one I have, and see what happens. Let's drop Operation Shaman and see what happens. Well, it fucking exploded. As you can see, like Operation Hybrids are a horribly tough fight. So you have to use everything the mod has to offer to try and fight it. But enough of that. Uh, let's see. Its stats are like that. Let's see whether it do it. Let's see what it gives. Okay, it's down. Down for the count. Let's see what it gives. But it's not over. Something is forming inside of the abomination. And there we go. Last manifestation. He is a monkey with a skull for. Ah, what the fuck? They just threw at me. Uh, I'm not too sure of any of his abilities, to be very honest. But let's summon. Another operation hybrid. I think the shaman is like probably the best. Let's, let's, let's summon another guy. Ow, why not? So, I didn't know about this by the way. This is last manifestation. So, after killing operation hybrid, this monkey will appear. Uh, that succumbed to his design. I know what that means. But as you can see, it hits very hard and very fast yep it hits very hard and very fast uh i don't know what any of these abilities does but uh needless to say it is very bad and also it's kind of hurts my eyes but let's see what happens if we kill it so Once you kill last manifestation, you can access inventory and you get quite a hefty sum of reward. You get 600, 600 black pearls, uh, ascended assault rifle, ascended crossbow, ascended saddles for the hybrids, a lot of DNA, some elements back, uh, more ascended saddle, and some mastercraft saddle. And this, Stormman's, Stormman's March Summoner. What is this? I have no clue, but let's take a look. Um, yeah, so these are all the rewards that you can collect, uh, you can get from killing uh, the second phase of the boss, which is Last manif Manifestation. Uh, I don't know whether it's easier or not, but it does seem uh, it has lesser HP. Since you offered me an axe, let's see what happens if you harvest it. Uh, you just get... Raw meat, high, and uh, raw prime meat. That's it. So let's summon Stormman's, Stormman's Marsh. Stormman's Marsh looks like this. A bird with wings. With, with dragon wing. It's, it's just a bird dragon wing thing. Um, I think I said it before. I think I tried before, Stormman Marsh isn't really a strong, it's more of a trophy creature compared to the rest of the hybrids. Uh, so left click is a normal bite attack that does that amount of damage. Right click is I think a hit butt. Let me, let me, Storm... So here's the thing, Stormman's Marsh is not inside the website of hybrids. Yeah, so I can't really show you anything. 
so like I said, left click is a bite attack, right click is a hit butt, I assume. C key is supposed to be a claw, but it seems like it's not doing much. Uh, Q key doesn't do much, control key doesn't do anything. Uh, X key is a raw. And... While in the air... It's not... He's an okay flyer. He doesn't dive. And my verdict is there are better hybrids than Stormer's Marsh here. Honestly. Uh, but from my understanding, he's just a trophy. To show off like, hey everyone, I, I able to kill it. I, I was able to kill the uh operations hybrid. Operation hybrid. Yeah, I was able to kill uh that operation hybrid. Now, uh it did state that it gets more powerful near an obelisk. So let's put that theory to a test. Okay, it's about to be summoned. Let's see if there's any difference in his stats. Uh, uh, I won't say abilities, but let's see any you all know, his stats. Okay, he's still 2.2 million HP. He's doing the same thing. I'm gonna summon one of these guys. And let them go at it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it too. From the looks of it, there's not much difference. Let's kill it. Yep, defeated. It's not the last that you hear of it. Anyway, let's kill one of these. I don't know Doom music. Yep, uh, it's still 1.8 million HP. Still as menacing as ever. And let's kill it again. That's as inventory. Uh, the rewards are... Similar, but this time I have more guard, more weaponry, and I have stolen much again. So let's you know, summon this guy and uh yeah see you 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 look you look you look no different. I mean like you look have you have a darker color. You look nicer, but eh, still nothing. Yeah, yeah, still nothing. Okay, yeah. So that was it for this uh this particular boss, which is the hybrid of as you, as you can see from it it's a hybrid of literally all all of them together like the monk the gorilla the dragon and the spider so that's literally all of the hybrids joined together now up next is the last out oh, is the last hybrid boss sorry let me rephrase that. Now, up next is the last boss hybrid. Let's see. For the last boss hybrid, it is Project Kaiju. After finding ourselves on Earth, there had to be something to counter Titans. And thus, Project Kaiju was born. Sabotage led this Titan class Ultra Hybrid to gain a little more brain than intended. And making this supposed to be, this supposed to be controlled Subtitan, a wayward and unruly rogue. So to craft it, uh, you need nine hundred elements and five generic artifacts, which I do not have. I'm gonna spawn them in right now. Uh, if not, I remember correctly, it's gonna be loud. It looks like this: gorilla arms, uh, very spiky tail, a uh, very disgusting head. Well, oh, it's Tail Whip summons fire. It has 2.1 million HP. And it's called Wayward Zoo Sapato Titan. It has a lightning breath. And 
enough of that, let's summon a kaiju for it to fight. And as you can tell, the Titan is quite outclassed. But let's see how it happens. Yeah, it's not attacking the guy. Okay, you know what? Let me just remove you. Uh, ignoring that Titan. So, what happens if you kill the Wayward, uh, this operation, boss, boss operation, whatever the hell it's called. So, once you kill it, you get those DNAs and a Zeus Apato Titan Summoner. Yes, you get him. His own. You get him. You get this boss hybrid. Let's see. Let's summon this guy and see how he works. So, as you can tell, he doesn't really have as much HP as his boss counterpart. It's the whole meme of like, oh, the boss versus the, the boss when you're fighting versus the boss when he's in your party. So, let's go through his abilities. Uh, I think the... Oh, he's left with the tail wipe. That provides electrocute, I think. Uh, but I think to test this out better, let's summon the... Well, let's summon the Ice Titan first. So, let's take a look. Oh, shit. So, left click is a tail attack that deals electric damage. Uh, and it's quite hefty. Uh, I think this guy deals more damage against ty like Kaiju Titans, like as his name suggests. Right click is a arm slam with a 10% of hitting 3 times in a second. Like, as you can tell, I'm doing 7,000 damage against it. Up next is C, which is Ionizing Breath. Uh, as you can tell, it deals quite a bit of damage. And next is Tail Breath. Basically, it shows a number of plasma from its tail. That, that ability. The explosion ability or not. And it's not, it doesn't need a saddle to be ridden on. That guy is running away further and further. And if you notice, if I go, I'll swing my tail on this pterodon. If it hits. This pterodon against it deals 3499 damage. But against the Ice Titan, if I can turn around fast enough. Bro, fight me. Stop jumping. So against the Ice Titan, I deal 10,000 more damage. Uh, as stated just now, this means that this type, this uh, hybrid is meant for fighting Kaiju bosses. So yeah, I think that will be the end of this video. I have went through all of the four uh, boss hybrids. And honestly, out of the four boss hybrids, three of them are not really worth it to craft. Um, but it did show that I mean, it did show that, uh, I think, what's his name? I think Sid really wanted to have the Cyber Macro Circle Draco to be able to, uh, you know, not tameable, but able to be spawned. But it basically just gives the outfit and that's it. Because if the Cyber, if the Cybernetic Dinosaur is able to be, Cybernetic Hybrid, is able to be ridden and uh, used, then that would make the uh, make that particular boss worth it. But for now, only the last the last boss is worth it, which was the uh, Project Kaiju. And that will be it. That is the end of this video. And honestly, that is the end of Sid's hybrid. In total, I have went through everything. I went through from the machines, how it worked, all the way through the hybrids, and finally to the boss. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next ARC video. Or next video in general, not just ARC. Bye!